Hey guys, and welcome to this video on algorithm analysis. So in this video, we want to determine a function that I'm going to call f of n that describes the number of times the statement x equals x plus 1 is executed in terms of n and is big O notation. So here in the green rectangle, I have our pseudocode, and we have our first statement at the top that creates three integer variables that we call i, j, and x, and then we set x equal to 0. And then we have our first outer loop that runs from i equals 1, and it's going to run while i is less than or equal to n times n, which can also be thought of as n squared, because it's equal to n squared. And then we have our statement i plus plus, which increments by 1 each time. And within our outer loop, we have our inner for loop that runs from j equals 1, and it's going to run while j is less than or equal to i times i, or i squared, and then j is going to increment by 1 each time by the statement j plus plus. Now within that loop, we have our statement x equals x plus 1. And what we're going to do here is also assume that n is some arbitrary value uh, that we already have either in the code or it's being input from the user or something like that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with a brand new sheet. All right, so here we are. We're on a brand new sheet. And what we can do is we can represent our for loops as summations. So let's do that. So when we represent the for loops as summations, it will allow us to analyze the programs and figure out the big O notation uh, for, the, for the program or pseudocode. So the outer loop runs from i equals 1 all the way to n times n. So I could put n squared here. And within that for loop is another for loop that can also be represented as a summation. And it runs from j equals 1 to i times i or i squared. And within that loop, we have our statement x equals x plus 1, which is ran a constant amount of times um, within these two loops. All right. And I could put, you know, maybe C there, but instead to make it a little bit easier, we're just going to use 1. We're going to use a constant value, 1. All right. So uh, C could be used you know, to represent any constant value. And I'm just choosing one in this case. All right. So now what does this equal? Okay. Well, we can use a few uh, summation formulas to figure this out. So down here, I'm going to write one of the formulas we're going to use. And we have a formula for the summation that runs from I equals one to N of one that is equal to just n. All right, so we can use this same formula uh, to figure out that first summation. All we have to do is plug in i squared for n. Okay, so what does this equal? I'm going to go ahead and erase this question mark here. So now this is equal to the summation from i equals 1 to n squared of i squared. And why is it i squared? Again, all we did was substitute. Um, uh, we substituted our our n value in our formula for i squared. So all of this in this summation here becomes just i squared. All right. So next up, we need to figure out what this summation equals. Well, there's another formula we can use, and I'll put that down here. And this formula runs from i equals 1 to n of i squared, and it's equal to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. All of that divided by 6. Okay, so that's exactly what we'll do. And we'll just plug in our uh, n squared value for n here. So now we get uh, n squared times n squared plus 1 times 2 times n squared plus 1 all divided by 6. 
And just to kind of highlight what I did is I just plugged in n squared where we had the value n before in the formula. So there you go. All right. Now let's go ahead and go to a new sheet and um, kind of solve this out. Simplify it a little bit more. So before we had n squared times n squared plus 1 times 2n squared plus 1 all over 6. So this is just equal to n to the fourth plus n squared times 2n squared plus 1 divided by 6. So this is equal to, um, let's see, n to the fourth times 2n squared is 2n to the 6 plus n to the 4th plus n squared times 2 times n squared is 2n to the 4th plus n squared all divided by 6. This is equal to 2n to the 6th plus um, 3n to the 4th plus n squared all over 6. And this, of course, is just big O of n to the power of 6. So that's our answer in big O. Oh, let me make sure I don't put that over the 6 there. So there we go. We've just now solved for how many times x equals x plus 1 is executed, which is here in terms of n. And we have our uh, function in terms of big O notation here. All right. So thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you found the video helpful, please share it. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.